Red Dead Redemption 2 is a tragic story, full of heart-wrenching scenes and sombre moments. Some are quite subtle and their full magnitude might not hit you right away, while others can bring you to tears in an instant. So these are the saddest moments in Red Dead Redemption 2. There are many sad moments throughout the game, but in the final few hours of Arthur's life, it really drives home the heartbreak. For example, after saving Abigail from the Pinkertons and discovering that it was Micah who had been betraying the gang, Arthur begins the long ride back to camp to confront him. The whole way a beautiful song, composed just for this moment plays, while the voices of those you've saved, wronged, loved and hated echo in your mind. There's a good man within you. He is wrestling with a giant. The words that you hear are shaped by how you acted in the game. Perhaps you hear a story of redemption if you try to be a good man, or if your actions were dishonourable, you hear the voices of those you wronged. You're a good man. man. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. The journey is long, and you know that you're almost certainly riding to your death. At this time, Arthur also still believes that John is dead, and although Abigail and Jack are safe, Arthur believes he failed in his final mission to help them all escape and live a better life. Dutch! John! You left me! You left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! Of course, not long after this scene, we begin to close in on the final moments of Arthur's life, which unsurprisingly also contain many more heartbreaking moments. One in particular is as you and John try to flee on horseback. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on! Push, Arthur! Arthur! This is one of the saddest moments in the entire game. Even with death looming, Arthur still stops to comfort his horse in its final moments. They didn't deserve this, and the least Arthur can do is not let them die alone. However, the same courtesy isn't extended to Arthur himself. Depending on your choices, the way Arthur dies will differ slightly, but in those where he watches his final sunrise, it's a beautifully tragic moment. He knows that John is safe, and he did everything he could to help him, but he failed to stop Micah, and Dutch had just left him here to die. The tuberculosis has taken its toll, and combined with the wounds sustained in the fight, he has nothing left to give. Arthur has been fighting his entire life, fighting for what he believed in, for honour, for the ways of the Old West for Dutch, but all of it was a lie, it's all gone, and as the sun rays warm his skin one last time, Arthur dies. Arthur's slow and painful death to tuberculosis is a hard thing to watch, but you might have missed the moment he actually contracted the disease. However, on a second playthrough, the realisation when it happens is quite shocking. After escaping near death in the mountains, the gang settles back into its usual routine, part of which is money lending and then the subsequent collecting of debts. You're sent on a number of these missions, but in one in particular, the man you're collecting from is gravely ill. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. This is the moment that Arthur's fate is sealed. There is no going back, and from now on, he's a dead man walking. For a while, you might not even notice the symptoms, but eventually, the diagnosis will come. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. His inevitable death is the elephant in the room for the rest of the game. 
always knowing that it's coming, and there is nothing you can do. However, there is one particular scene where Arthur himself admits that he's afraid to die. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. This scene is only available if you completed a set of side missions involving the sister. Otherwise, it's Reverend Swanson there getting on the train, and the conversation is quite different. It's still sad, but nothing like the conversation with the sister. I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death. <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. Another sad moment is found during a simple conversation with Rain's Falls in the mission Archaeology for Beginners, where Arthur says this. I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. Eliza was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day, and... Saw two crosses outside, and I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them, and shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. By this point in the game, you've been playing as Arthur for a long time, and should feel like you know the man pretty well. But then this reveal happens out of nowhere. It's a major part of his story, and explains so much about who he is. And the fact he never mentioned it until now, also says a lot about him. Rain's Fall actually has another sad moment later on in the game. Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. Long after Arthur is dead, you can actually find him while playing as John. What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm... very sorry. Oh, it was... a long time ago now. However, not all of the depressing tales in Red Dead Redemption 2 revolve around Arthur. The rest of the gang have their own tragedies and sad stories. However, some of their saddest moments come with their deaths. Some are sudden and shocking, like the happy-go-lucky Sean's brutal demise. I could have told you. Others are gruesome, like Kieran's. What the hell have they done to me? However, the back-to-back -back deaths of Hosea and Lenny have to be the saddest. Don't! No! no! Oh, God damn it! Dutch tries to bargain. He almost begs for Milton not to kill him, but in the end, there is nothing that can be done. And then, moments later, Lenny is also gunned down. For me, this felt even worse than Hosea's death, because you're in control when it happens. This isn't a cutscene, it just happens so quick there is nothing you can do. He's dead before he hits the floor. Lenny had been a good friend to Arthur, and in many ways almost like a son. 
you had taken him under your wing on a couple of occasions, but now you can't even offer him a burial. Thankfully, Sadie Adler is able to take care of that for you off screen, but you won't learn about that for quite a while. Ironically, one of the saddest moments for you as the player is also one of the happiest for the characters in the game. At the end of the epilogue, after finally killing Micah, John returns home to his family and utters the final words in the game's story. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> this is a moment of celebration for the characters, but as the player, we know things are far from over. We know where this ends, how John gets forced to hunt down the rest of the gang and eventually gets murdered himself. How Abigail will also die at the young age of 37, and Jack, with both of his parents now gone, will hunt down the man who killed his father. You sent him to do your dirty work, then you shot him like a dog! And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash! These are some of the moments that tugged on our heartstrings as we played through the game, but which moments hit home for you? Did Arthur's doomed relationship with Mary strike a chord, or did you find a random encounter that broke your heart? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse, saying thanks for watching, and try to enjoy the game. <laughs>